Hey guys, so my name is Tian Miller and I am the program director of coding and robotics at a primary school in South Africa. We have chosen the WeDo 2.0 Lego Education as our platform and I have been running it from grade 1 to 7 with a uniquely designed curriculum based on the robots that um, Lego presents but with my own twist and my own STEAM education where I integrate lessons from CAPS into the curriculum. But I also wanted to make it a coding and robotics curriculum so that when learners go from grade 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, when they get to grade 10 they will be able to code and go into, into IT. So what we have learned so far in this journey is that our children play and when they play they learn our grade one children build the robots given by lego a few times and then they remember the robot which is quite a lot of steps they remember the block codes and their meanings they understand coding better they remember lessons. We've been doing lessons on signals, on satellites, on astronomy, and they remember what last week's lesson was about. They remember what the objectives were. They remember what they were taught. And they perform mathematical equations that when you would ask them to do it on paper, they would struggle. For example, we had a robot who spun around in 2.4 seconds and we asked the grade one child what would half of that time be and they worked out to 1.2 seconds, which was quite amazing. What are the limits to play? Things that I've noticed is that our children miss important objectives because they play so much that they don't see what they've actually learned they don't understand what they've done or that what they have done is accidental and it's not stored in long-term memory and that's why i've been thinking and looking at different ways to get this a more learnable subject and i made the four pillars of coding and robotics that i base my entire curriculum on it's logical reasoning recognizing algorithms debugging problems and using tools <coughs> Now, before I go on, I have to say that we have a separate computer lesson where learners learn how to use computers, how computers work, how to take care of computers. And the subject I give is purely coding and robotics. And now, the first pillar, logical reasoning, I go into inductive and deductive reasoning and I build my lessons around making them think deductively or inductively. The second one, recognizing algorithms. We do pattern recognizing, pattern training, algorithm building, recognizing algorithms and putting it into coding. Then we do debugging of problems to solve a specific problem, look at why the robot is not doing what it's supposed to, and then looking at debugging problems in life. And then using tools, learning the various statements like the if statements, the loop statements, etc., etc., procedures, functions, and all of these things. But this is for the older children, our grade six and seven children, our grade one, twos, and threes. They do this, but very subtly. So that is what we do in our coding and robotics curriculum in a nutshell.